Ladybird Johnson Middle School is a public middle school that serves 1,026 students in grades 6 through 8. Irving ISD has always had a very supportive board and community, and when our population pressure dictated uh, the addition of a new middle school, they wanted to build something that would uh, be a little bit different and add something, not just for the kids that go to the school, but also for the community and the world. Ladybird Johnson is a LEED Gold Certified Middle School. Uh, that means that it is a net zero school and produces and conserves as much energy as we consume. To achieve net zero at this location, we employ geothermal heat pumps, solar panels on the roof, a, a total of 600 kW solar panels, LED lighting, and wind turbines. The energy use at this facility is 17 kBTUs a square foot. The average middle school in Texas operates at 54 kBTUs a square foot. This reduced the energy consumption from over $200,000 a year to $60,000 a year. On this project, we have uh, 10 bore fields uh, consisting of a total of 530 250 foot geothermal wells. The 10 bore fields uh, accommodate approximately 590 tons of air conditioning. There is a total of 50 miles of one inch pipe uh, represents the geothermal heat exchanger. Behind me is a small portion of the solar PV plant uh, represented on this campus. The plant is 65,000 square feet, 600 kW, and produces over 800,000 kilowatt hours a year. What this means to the project in a whole is that this provides the energy production that offsets the consumption by the rest of the building. Geothermal heat pumps in concert with the solar PV make the economics of the solar PV system uh, viable. What's special about teaching here at Lady Bird Johnson is that we are teaching our students about a sustainable environment and giving them information they can share with generations so that they can leave a legacy. Lady Bird Johnson is special um, because of the amount of technology that we use. Our technological systems here at Lady Bird Johnson are their geothermal wells, solar panels, and wind turbines. Being in the school makes me feel like I have a bigger responsibility to go out into the world and to share with other people what I've learned and what I've experienced. And it makes me want to be a better role model for my brothers that I have. Lady Bird Johnson has a very small carbon footprint and that's important to me because we save our energy and we make energy. Our Florida heat pump product consists of half tons all the way up to 60 tons. Uh, in both water-to-air units and also in water-to-water -water units. Texas Air's part of the project was when IEG identified the loads of the building, we helped select the best units that would fit the uh, purpose and efficiency for reaching the net zero design. For this particular project, we manufactured uh, a variety range of units. We utilized our ES single stage unit throughout the installation process throughout the school. It was a good match for the school district and the project from the standpoint that it utilizes both an IEG uh, pump module system and it also uh, utilizes ECM motors that provide better efficiency. Bosch's role in the geothermal industry is also um, uh, beyond geothermal, it also includes solar. Uh, this is a fine example of an application where both geo and solar have been utilized to provide a net zero footprint. Lady Bird Johnson Middle School and the things that we do with Net Zero are a great hook for our students to help them see why it's important to learn the things that they learn. It's also a source of inspiration for our community uh, to see a, a point of pride like this uh, in, in our, our city. Uh, additionally, I think that the Net Zero concepts that are here at Lady Bird have been a source of inspiration as other school districts, cities, states and countries visit to learn about the concepts of conservation and power creation.